the North Cat, baby, I'm a boss. Carolina barbecue sauce with the slaw. I'm the safe, the seller, and the vault. I'm the best, the effect, and the cause. I'm the law. I am not seeing it. We could see some big surprises, big upsets. The invited teams may well be bowing out early. But here we go. The final round of Miramar today. Forever. 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 <laughs> Forever. <laughs> Until we reach <laughs> the finals on the 28th of February. That's going to be a good one. I mean, looking at the top teams right now, only the, the top performers, I should say, in, in, in the European side, and then looking at how a team like Shoot to Kill were performing last night yeah. on the NA side of things. And I know there's a lot of fragging power coming out of the Latam region as well. Not even to mention, I mean, Atletico. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be an aggressive grand finals. Like, teams are going to be hunting massively. Yeah, I I don't think teams can get away with the, the, the widespread splits like we saw Liquid doing, obviously, with the 1-1-1s. One, Gonna have an SC Navi. Well, sadly well. for TSM, they were the ones that fell last time with the GLR Grand true, Slam with true, the Knights true. making a mega performance. It was poor old Gustav and co. that were just <sighs> sat there devastated. They like, they what just it. happened today? Yep. They thought they had it. Let's see, Michael and Braxco, you only have one place to go, and that's straight into the mouth of this Navi team <coughs> sitting ready and waiting for you. And that's Michael down. Brexco is right next to that grenade, so he's forced to back away, and Tab will find them. 16th place, zero kills team. Solo mid are uh, struggling. Yeah, it's not a good not a good tournament for them. Yupsik just on the edge. Uh, over in Bendita Crater. Well, it's a bit messy, isn't it? After all, it they have Exalt pinned. Omicron also on the other side of the crater. I don't think Exalt can get out from this one. FaZe's choice to wrap around down the south seems to be the best option. We'll see, because they've got a long way to go themselves. I wonder if they're going to keep on wrapping around the south. Not only do they have a long way to go, but there's absolutely no way, nowhere no to enter to go, that yeah. circle. I mean, there's no, there's no entry point that makes sense. The only places you can go in has eight teams on it. We're 55 alive right now, and it's there's absurd. no way 55 people will fit around the edge of oh this no. crater. Oh, no. Oh, this no. This is going to be pretty messy. Monkey's down. Exalt trying to send it. Nalip's going to go straight into Vard, so he'll probably get caught out in a moment. There we go. Instantly shown. Thank you very much, observers. Phaser sending it. They're going straight into Blaze, into the center area, and seeing what they can do. Are they oh, going to continue the past? I do the not shack. know. It's Fuzz Face trying to send it. They're going to go past. Welcome to South Georgia. They want the dip. Yep. It is semi safe with Iro and Samty nearby. Iro cooking that nade already. Uber. Running around in the open as well. That nade's going to do some damage to the vehicles. They might not be up for grabs any longer, but they are in a spot which they can easily play from Samty, though. Able to find Uber, get down the first, finds the flush on him as well. So that's phase down to three. Miraku's been caught by Danim on those, so they're not completely clear. They're in a wide 2-2 split here, so there is only two members of Welcome to South Georgia at the moment, but they have the positional advantage. They don't have anyone really shooting them in the back. Phase clan in the dip, just trying to figure out where everything is coming from. They've realized now they have all guns trained that direction. I'm actually surprised the face managed to make it through there with four live, because I saw four teams shoot at them. <laughs> when they tried to commit to that compound place, weren't in a position to fight them. I think I saw ATC shoot twice and tag Lipson up, who would have been the player to go out and start shooting at them early when they came driving. So when he goes, I hit a guy twice, he's healing, now is our time. They sent it and it worked out perfectly. Exalt, by the way, pushing out of the crater. They've caught Omicron completely hot-footing yeah, yeah. it down the hill. They've taken two down, I believe, already. Meanwhile, Pog, they're trying to send it. They're going to have to find, well, that's not really the dip they were after. They kind of just pulled up and hope that it works out for them. Shirsten's down, and then Blink Blaze will be able to pick up the rest of the kills here, as Pog will be in trouble. That nade, will it be close enough? Oh, Omicron down in 15th place. There's a sign for people to chase. Exor picking the kills up as well. Udir with a big nade to finish it off. Welcome to South George. They're trying to regroup. So if they can get in there, FaZe are in trouble. That's going to be four members of Welcome to South George back together. The fights are far from over, though. As I say that, they do wipe one more. So Team Unique out as well now. Five kills and counting. Yeah. They are chasing. They're down in ninth place. They need all the points. After all, ahead of them, they can keep on looking. The circle shifts. Phase Clan in a great spot at the moment. They still have the nades coming in from the dips from Welcome to South George, but the circle favors their position. It was a ballsy move, and it's paid off. It's so it's so impressive to see with a team like Phase Clan how they manage to do these things, getting these circles. Let's see Kofest holding off Besiktas. Nox coming in each way. 
This is way down south as well. This is simply mutually assault destruction. Who can get the kills? FaZe, the work of South Jaw trading blows again, but Fuzz and Gustav now down. You can see it's Samti making the push. 80 on nothing. Ooh. He goes down. The hero play comes out from Samti, and now he's got to get the rest of his team back on their feet. That's two knocks, though, Nates are coming in from the zone. Oh, that's actually Iroh crossing over. Okay, yeah, yeah, so it's, it's the rest is coming. Yeah, that should be okay. It's fine. That it's fine. is a that is a WCSG in a situation knowing that, okay, so as soon as After All clears their side of the circle, they're going to be underneath us. There's still a team above us. If we don't deal with FaZe now, we will get picked apart. 12th place for Exalt. They did get the five kills, but it's not going to be placement on points. With Inside Games still alive, crashing on the backside here of Blaze, they are the eighth place team that they Exalt yep. were chasing. Now we'll see whether Inside Games can make it into the points. They've yet to really get their foot on the market in this game, despite the third place in the previous matchup. See them all outside the wall. Free kill down already. Lipson trying to hold the angle of Sam Peek is there from outside. Finds the flush on towards him as well. We'll have a chance to push further forward, but as you can see, this this area isn't even inside the next circle, so it's going to be a tough one for them to breach. After all, they're coming to look at this fight as well. They're coming down from they're the north, so it, while inside games have a great edge against this wall, they're about to get caught from the right-hand side. Besiktas and Tornado Energy just <laughs> over the other side as well, driving in over Besiktas. They had no chance there. Meta beat. The last man standing, trying to hang the angle, see if he can get anything around the side. He sees the shadow, gets caught by K-Mind on the right-hand side. That's going to give him pause for thought as he gets a big old sniff of that one and tries to crawl into the smoke. Oh, he is right next to them. The rest actually managed. I mean, if, they, if he doesn't get a kill there, I'd be surprised. Let's see what's going to happen. He's outside of the smoke. No, he can go into the car. For the means, just honk and put on some music, but nope, not gonna happen. He's gonna find the first one. Combat flushed immediately. One is on the other side, and that's gonna be the end of him. Combat was taken down, but Millman manages to eliminate Besiktas. Inside games, they're gonna get the kills on plays, but they will fall straight afterwards. Yeah. So while they got themselves secured points, it will keep them safe. Unless Pixelit can make it here, gets inside the circle, has Tornado Energy, but they don't focus him. Mm -mm. Instead, they choose to roll down because DA are taking shots on them, so they're forced to really cover off. And this might give Pixelit a little bit of a free chance to get more shots in the back. The circle, it shifts out of the crater. It goes to the northern side. Team Liquid. With Navi with a chance of big points in there up on the northern side. And the Sauna Boys, of course, who just got themselves a second place a moment ago. That rotation from Navi through Picardo sure as hell has paid off for them, giving where they're sitting There's right Nate's now. Big. Nate's from forward. They have this little funnel they're sitting in, and that, you know, is just going to make it even easier to connect them. Wait, as I say, that does get taken down. Though Vard able to connect one, and now I think Damon, uh, Dannyman throwing one back over. Or was it a smoke? I think it was an eight, but no damage. Tornado done. Energy coming in the back, the yep, back yep, side yep. of this fight. So whoever comes out on top, if it doesn't conclude quickly, we're going to see Melman getting involved. Here comes Alia. He's going to get Gusei. They're going to click all the points. Remember Tornado Energy? They're chasing down the top spot. Not it matters. They're safe and secure. All three of these teams at the moment are in the uh, top eight. So it's simply a case of picking up what they can. Pixelic is following him behind. He's using Tornado Energy as a body shield to keep getting those placement points as we're into the top seven. Tornado is one of those teams, said it in my preview as well, they live up to their name. They are a Tornado. Once they see a fight, they don't leave that area without having done a hell of a lot of damage. And this is exactly it. Even if they go down here, they would have taken out two players of each team, and that's going to leave them super hurt coming into the final five. DA have successfully got out of the compound and inside. There is still two in a vehicle that Team Liquid are peppering at the moment, so they may get that down. But look at Pixel continuing to creep on behind mm -hmm. them and keep on the backside. Two Tornado Energies ahead of him, too, after Alt as well. Welcome to South George. We're obliterated within that barrage. Let's see, Serong wants to get the flush. No rest has come in. He knows there's a knock on the other side of the rock and he kind of wants to commit to it but don't want to expose himself too much. Pixel still crawling forward. Liquid's still up with four as well. They have a few kills so far, but hasn't been anything massive. Go now, on. finally, Pixley. He's announced oh. his presence, and he does go down immediately after. Instant, he goes down, but he got a kill. Another one secured there, seventh place. So the placement points, while Exalt did get those five kills, I think he's going to be instantly countered by what uh, Pixley just did there. Yeah to collect that kills. Example will find Zerong, so Danimon and Example, the last sort of two standing for Tornado Energy, and after all, as Alea gets executed, Misa in the center, the Sauna boys getting slowly surrounded. 
by Team Liquid, Digital Athletics, and Navi in the north. I want to keep an eye on DA here because this is where the former DA would get to. They would get to inside top six. They wouldn't have any kills at this point, and this is when they would fall apart yeah. because they did not have the fragging power to deal with the they big boys the that were remaining. And all that, and also usually back in 2019, early 2019, they wouldn't have the fragging power to take this fight to Liquid, take it to Sona Boys, take it to some of these teams that are still alive. Now, as we talked about yesterday with Infralius and Smash Bay added to the roster, I want to see them, with a circle here as well, going out and winning this game. Yeah, Metralius really impressed me in Phase 3 of PEL. Certainly the shining player of the team that we weren't expecting, honestly, with yeah. uh, obviously Ira stepping aside. Navi forced to make a move with his circle shift. Everybody else is pretty safe. Example and Danimon continue to try and hunt each other down. This little duel that's been going on for quite some time. Sixmo may get a part of it. If he comes over the top of that hill, he should have a relative vision on Example's back. He's still hopping and looking for Danimon. So close <laughs> to seeing that backpack. He's over there somewhere, just about getting the angle. DA, they're splitting out on the south side, trying to take some control. I think it was Mert getting tacked up by Mex. And then you can see Navi as well. Can't really figure out which side of the, uh, the hill they want to push up from. Trying to see which is the best. Senya's just had a look and didn't fancy it. Mm. Tam's almost tripping over Jeems. Danimon still sits and waits. Both of these outside the circle. Examples deciding to work his way in. And Sixmo's looking to see who's going to come out of the blue and try and catch them both off guard. And that's going to be Tab found out. And Team Liquid may well have a prime position. DA still with four alive as well. But Navi, they were the team that needed the points here, not Team Liquid. And losing that player now has probably cost them a top position. Got to give kudos to Liquid, though. They had uh, very similar to last game. Jeez in a, Jeems in an off position early. And when DA pushed in, he was able to get away from the early place. It was wow. able to get away early. Kemba, that's unfortunate. Does go down, and that's going to leave Senya. That's the last remaining player Nookie. for Na'Vi. And you would have to think that Liquid's going to look for him. Nookie just took down both top fraggers from PL phase 2. Took down a doozy yeah, earlier on, yeah, and now true, he's just took true. down Kemba. Both ineffectively one on ones is what they were. Timmy, all that nade just rolls <laughs> over his head. Bounce over the his discipline face. to sit and hold that angle doesn't work out for him. Will go down eventually, but he got himself a knock in the process on Jeems. Team Liquid should be able to get him back on his feet. There's plenty of time. Danimon's backed away, but Senya's sort of ahead of him. Meanwhile, Examples had to turn and face DA down on the south side. There's Senya going Ooh. for the peak, and he gets the knock on K-Mind. Great shooting coming in. Almost able to flush him out too. Nope, not going to happen. Senya, though, committed too much to it. Get found in the end. Danimon able to take him out. And we are down to five teams left alive. But we still have three solos. That is going to prevent so many placement points for some of these teams. Seeing 11 people in the kill feed, knowing they were four alive on your team, you're expecting to get top three here. Yeah, three solos with the two four-man squads looking to not trip up over them. Exactly. Mexi continuing to go and peak against Smash here. Looking to try and hold the angle. K-Mind and Coke. They've taken the northern side. Nookie's still lying in wait. Danimon, an example, once again trading blow. This has been going on for about five minutes already mm -hmm. between these two. Looks like Danimon's finally going to lose out here. But example hasn't really got the cover that he needs. Danimon can back away and fade in towards Team Liquid. He's found the dip there. He can uh, chill around in Jeems down again. But fortunately, Ibiza there to trade the kill. They got another knock. Uh, DA, see, now DA should try and pounce on that. You would have to think so, right? Yeah. They know they know that they're wounded. They know that Jeems is down for the second time. So they have to commit to the rest early if they want to get him back up on his feet. But DA, they're playing the backside. They are shooting over towards Mexi. But uh, no damage being done. Yeah, they're hearing the shots and the, the action that's happening is continuing to happen over on this far eastern side. And Team Liquid now moving in to get involved in this one. They want to get a piece of Danimon. D wants to get the no I mean, uh, Liquid wants to get the north side here. Mm. They want to get the dip. You can see K-Mines and the beast are there right next to each other. They want to push forward, take D out Danimon and D get the Yeah, they're going to get caught. They're, they're, uh, they're running over the top. It's just made no sense. They just pushed openly over the top to try and get Example down. And sure enough... Sixmo gets caught off. They are going to try and stick the revive, but that gives the position in a way for Team Liquid. They know where they are now. Yeah, that, and also, I mean, knowing how exactly how to play it, they know exactly where, the, like, literally every last player in this game is. And that's where Liquid becomes scary when they start. Like, when you give them 
additional information that just makes their opportunity to outplay you that much harder. And the, their position is exactly where the center is. Team Liquid exactly. have, have it. Exactly. DA have to make this open run now. They Their moment to win this game was seemingly when the knock came Team's in on Team knock, Liquid. Yeah. Danimon yeah. is still causing problems. Example's now coming over the hill, so he should see Danimon uh, back any second now and finally finish off this battle. Danimon, oh, what? Danimon comes out on top against Example. He's got next to nothing left in terms of armor. It's all in tatters, but he comes out alive. And after all, we'll get themselves another third position here. K-Mind should be able to find him here. Danimon's healed up, but he sees the head peek out. And it, it, if there's a knock comes in here, this is where DA have to strike, but that nade's going to cause some damage. And Danimon is now in problem territory. The blue is right on DA's back. They all have to peek the hill. He's going to get one more first at off. It's off now, and that's the last med he's going to be able to use. K-Mind knows exactly where he is in that rock, and well, while this one might not be on him, oh, well, it actually does. It's right on him. He's going to go down now. Yes, he does. Four DA are pushing. Four. DA are pushing. They've got to have a hope that there's a wall of smokes there, but K-Mind's off angle now. Could be massive. He's going to come around the side. He should see Sigmo straight away. That nade's riding towards Metralius. He's going to get around the side. Oh, that's a massive chunk of damage coming off him as the circle continues to force DA into the grinder of Team Liquid. 4v4 still. No one daring to go full on aggro here. DA living off of their smokes, but they're only going to last them so long. They will have to make the push eventually. K-Mine spots one more cross east. And now it's Metralius going down. 4v3. ABC is another, can't manage to catch him, but Smash is down, so DA down to two. Mert looks for the kill, but he can't get it. Mexi will get him down. Sixmo, the last man, and Team Liquid make it easy in the end. Nine kills and counted for DA. The moment was about five minutes ago when the second knock came in on Team Liquid. That's when they had to strike to pick up victory. When you see a wounded Liquid with four men alive, and you have a chance to do something about it, and you don't, you don't deserve to win.